NV Rides TV. Right behind us is, is a beautiful car. I'm a personal fan of Mustangs, Cobras. Why don't you first give me you know the basics of this car? What year, make, model? It's a 2009 Shelby GT500. How long have you been working on this car from when you got it to oh, when have yeah. wh when did it reach this stage right here? How long did that take? Probably about three years. When you first got this car, did you know you wanted a Mustang or a Cobra or how'd oh, that yeah. go? Yeah, um, I have an 01 Cobra at home also oh. and I bought that brand new too. So this was the next step, you know, so. Since I got it, I just you know I wanted to modify it, you know, and just take it to the next level, make it unique because, you know, a lot of people have, you know, a lot of the same parts or styles, and I just wanted something that was going to stand out and be different, but not crazy, crazy, you know? Cobra already comes with a, a beast motor. Give us a breakdown of some of the accent modifications you made for the performance. I put a smaller uh, pulley on the supercharger to get more boost, so I'm up to 13 pounds of boost now. I got a JLT carbon fiber intake. So that helps out too. Magnaflow exhaust system. No headers, but full exhaust all the way back after that. And then a custom tune from uh, Racer's Edge Tuning. Who'd you, who'd you like to shout out to right now? Well, for you got to give number one big props to Vertini Wheels. Um, I'm running their wheels and I'm here in their booth. Airlift performance. I have their coilover airbag suspension in. It's brand new. Uh, last October it just came out. Loving that. So give us the breakdown of your power to the wheels before your modifications and then power to the wheels after. Okay, before we did a baseline tune, our baseline dyno and it was uh, 437 at the wheel. You know, that's right to the wheel. That's on the ground. So what about after? Now I'm 553 at the wheel. 553, man. So, so tell me about this fender. What's up with this fender? I thought these stripes were actually vinyl stickers. Okay, it's a complete carbon fiber fender. And what I did was a reverse paint job. So I had the fender stripes put on, I had my uh, True Carbon decal put on, and I had someone make the GT500 logo decal. Put them all on, and then they sprayed it, and then after it was done, they pulled them off, color sanded, several coats of clear to even it out, and uh, a lot of people always trip out, and they, they come up and they touch it. They're just like this. You know, how did you get that decal on there? And I tell them, it's, it's not a decal, it's an entire carbon fiber fender. Yeah, because when you touch it, I mean, that's what I did. I thought it was a sticker, so I went to feel for the edge, but it's completely smooth. So it's like, you see the carbon fiber right through the paint. So that's yeah, that's awesome. And that is unique, because I actually haven't seen that. You know, trying to do something different, you know. Now this is something you don't even, you don't really find on, on Mustangs or Cobras or, you know, is uh, the mechanical window right here. Well, enjoy your car. I'm gonna enjoy filming it a little more. We're gonna get some more footage of it, but I appreciate it. Hey, and we'll you. see you guys a little bit later in this hot sun, but yeah. we'll enjoy the car show. NV Rides TV. Subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook.